At six, to ensure low-income families get the help they need, state leaders approved a contract this week to make EBT benefits more secure. There could, however, be a challenge to this move. Dennis Valera is in your corner breaking down this challenge and what's next. You're a lifeline to make ends meet. For years, WJZ has reported on how EBT benefits have been stolen from Marylanders. Around 943,000 people use these benefits, which include SNAP and other cash assistance programs. Most of the theft has happened through card skimming, according to state authorities. Since last year, the State Department of Human Services says they've had to reimburse millions of dollars. We've replaced 27.1 million in stolen benefits to over 41,000 Maryland households. It's why the Maryland Board of Public Works unanimously approved a nearly $20 million contract Wednesday. Motion to approve the DGS agenda. Is there a second? Second. Outstanding. Thank you. The contract was awarded to the company Conduent with the promise of putting encrypted chip technology on EBT cards. Conduent has been distributing the state's EBT benefits since 2007. Before the approval, Maryland DHS Secretary Rafael Lopez told the board this move was urgent. It is Marylanders who will pay the ultimate price in stolen benefits through no fault of their own, and they deserve better. But an attorney with Fidelity Information Services, or FIS, the other company trying to get a contract approved to provide these services, called the deal unlawful and that chip cards will be rolled out no matter what. These EMV chip card technologies will be implemented, whether it's by conduit or FIS, at some point next year. Not this year. Miller says FIS has a July 31st hearing to make their case for an appeal. Lopez is confident Conduit's contract will stand. We would not bring to you the constitutional officers of Maryland an unlawful contract to sign. We just wouldn't do it. Despite the challenge to it, the new contract was made effective immediately Wednesday. Reporting on your corner in downtown Baltimore, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.